Here it is, the first HLG footage from the Lumix GH5. Yeah! So let's just see what it can do. I can't really cut it because it's got to directly upload to YouTube to take advantage of the, uh, of the whole HLG process, but uh, we can kind of look around. So pardon the sloppy camera work. No edits, no edits. So it's got this feature that allows you to go through and turn on um, kind of like helper guides for, for your footage here. And so I have those kind of cranked on for the mid-tone. So it kind of helps me expose the mid-tones correctly. It's a cool feature they've included in the camera in the firmware 2.0. And so I can't really edit any of this because of um, the fact that I wanted to put on YouTube and the process to, to actually go through and create an HDR file, trust me, is a very lengthy one. And I probably would do it in PQ over, which is uh, HDR10, over that of uh, over that of HLG. But what's super awesome about the HLG element is that you literally can shoot it and post it. Uh, and if you have a TV that plays um, HLG, I think Samsung, Sony, um, what's the other one? Samsung's uh, LG, I think they all play them. So you have the ability to kind of post your footage directly without the edit. Right now, if you try and do this and cut it inside of Premiere or something else, it's not really going to give you what you want out of it. So this corresponds, this video corresponds with our hands-on release video. If you've seen that, it is, uh, it's currently up. We released it earlier this morning, and this is just kind of a follow-up. Uh, since we couldn't include HLG content in our live stream. So anyway, this is it. This is uh, firmware 2.0. And as you can see, it's pretty amazing. So if you're watching this on a, I don't even know if I'm in focus. Yeah, no edits. If you're watching this in um, and basically 4K, cool, fine. I'm sure it probably looks interesting. I'm not totally sure how it looks. But if you're watching this in uh, HLG on YouTube and you have a Samsung, an LG, or a Sony television, then you're going to get the benefits of all the crazy color, the, the variations of, of basically working in HDR, the sharpness, the detail, so forth and so on. Um, I'm sure there's going to be lots and lots and lots of cool content that is uh, in camera until we can properly get a way of um, basically editing it. The process to do it now is a nightmare but it can be done. All right, thanks for watching Inside Craft Show. Short bit, short take, whatever. We're just excited to finally have 2.0.